Hello, Rigoberto. Are you connected, Rigo? Yes, I am connected. All right. So let's start off. Rico, what, what do you prefer, tacos or pupusas? Pupusas. <laughs> ah, tell me why. Because it's the most uh, typical food in El Salvador, and I prefer pupusas than tacos. Okay, and where are the best pupusas for you? In Oloquilta. <laughs> Oloquilta. What kind of pupusas do you like? I like cheese pupusas and cheese with bean pupusas. Those are my uh, favorites. Okay. And do you go to Oloquilta often? Not really, but I have gone in the past. I don't remember when was the last time that I gone. Okay. Yeah. That I, I, went. I think that is nice. Oloquilta is nice. They have is the tradition of the rice pupusas. You prefer the rice or the corn pupusas? Corn pupusas. Corn. Those are the rest. Yes. <laughs> oh. Wow, Rigo. I don't I don't like corn too much. I, I always order rice pupusas. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Katya, maybe Katya. What do you like, Katya? What do you prefer, tacos or pupusas? Both. <laughs> I like. Where's the best tacos? Um, here in Santa Ana. Mm. I don't know. Maybe La Calaca. La Calaca. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like La Calaca, but only the tacos are small. <laughs> yeah. I eat more pupusas than tacos. Mm -hmm. I think the I tacos, in, in, in most places, the tacos are small. The, the, yeah. In El Salvador, tacos are only like a tortilla, and that, a small tortilla, and that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how was your day today, Katya? Very good. I, I, I didn't go to Matapan today. Mm -hmm. So I was here in Santa Ana, in the Ministerio de Educación, all morning. Uh, working there, but I rest to travel. You rested? Yes, to, to travel. Ah, uh, ah, yes, because you didn't from have Santana, to go from Santana mm -hmm. to Metapan. Yeah, I was here and I was more relaxed. <laughs> okay, okay, good. And Juan Jose, how about you? How are you? Hi, um, this day is was very, very hard for me. Uh, yesterday I put my the vacuum for the COVID. And this day I I wake up <laughs> very um, uh, with uh, the pain, uh, dolor, I don't remember <laughs> in my, in my um, uh, excuse me, in my shoulder, <laughs> a little, um, molestias, I don't remember. Uh, for the vacuum, for the for the COVID. Uh, uh -huh. In my I'll, case, uh, my my job is very very hard because I I give I I teach in the morning. In the morning, sometimes teach night too. Uh, my class finish at eight, <laughs> and after I began <laughs> begin the, this class, it's very hard for me. 
and, and begin another class. <laughs> and Juan, what, what do you teach? I teach math. Math, okay. Plural. Yes. He is a engineer um, subject about engineer or architecture. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Well, guys, today, thank you so much for everybody for connecting. And we are going to get started by looking at family members. We are continuing our conversation, our topic. Today, we're looking at compound family terms. In the chat, we can see one of the terms that is very common, but which is called in-laws. But right now, we're going to watch a small video and learn about more family terms. And I'll explain that in just a moment. Ready to learn new words? Grab a pen, paper, and take notes. Go over the family tree. You will find some compound terms which use prefixes and some others use suffixes. Now that you know more family terms, talk in class about your family tree. Don't forget to share your information on our discussion box. All right, there is the family tree. Take a look at those. And as I mentioned, we have compound. The compound one is in-law. And we can always use that different family with in-law. So you're going to say sister-in-law, brother-in-law, mother-in-law, father-in-law, all of the things that are not for blood that are in marriage are called in-laws. It's okay, all the family? It's okay. Okay, so as you can see, we have lots and lots of family. We have from your mother and father, grandmother, grandfather, and then that generation before, great. Great-grandmother or great-grandfather. Okay, so let's take a moment and see what we're going to be doing today with all of this information about this. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use adjectives, descriptions. Okay, so you want to think about the person, the person physically, the person uh, personality. Okay, so their physical attributes. Okay, uh, their personality traits. Put in the chat so that you don't get confused, okay? Uh, okay, so we're gonna be looking at physical personality and general information. So as an example, I'm going to say to Katya, Katya, tell me about your mother or about your father, your brother, your sister, your mother, your, your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, your uncle-in-law, your grandmother, your cousin, your nephew, your niece, different families. And we're gonna try different ideas, right? So as an example, Marielos, ask me about a person. About the what? Anyone, anyone that you want, say. Mm -hmm. About my father? Okay, so for example, we're going to say, hang on, I'll put in the chat. The chat? Excuse me, teacher. In the chat, read the sentence. Okay. Do you see the sentence, Marielos? Yes. Okay, read it. Tell me about you. Oh, okay. So, sorry. Tell me about and finish about your. Go ahead. And then put a family member. Um, I have to write in the chat. No, no. So, as an example, Marielo, tell me about your father. 
Okay. Okay. Now, go uh, ahead, Maria. Let's read the same. example. Okay. Um, I had to answer you. Okay. That's that's okay. what we're going to do with. Don't okay. worry, okay, Maria. Don't worry. It's okay. It, that's <laughs> the idea. So the idea with okay. our partners, we're going to ask our partners. I'm going to ask Katya or uh, Samsung. I don't remember. Samsung, what's your name? Milton. No. What's it? Is, I don't know. I don't remember. What's Samsung's name? Milton, are you? Is, is it Milton? Milton. Milton, teacher. Uh -huh, Milton. Ah, uh, tiene que acostumbrarse a poner su nombre, Milton. <laughs> I. I help you. you. There you go, Milton. I got you. There we go. All right. So Milton, I imagine my partner is Milton. Milton, tell me about your sister. Yes. Uh, I, I have two sisters. Uh, Richard, uh, you, you can uh, allow it in WhatsApp or? No, speaking right now, you are the demonstration. Okay. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah. I have two sisters. Two sisters, uh, they are um, young, uh, more younger than, than I. Okay, so, so, remember, they are younger. I have two sisters with S, not two sister, two sisters with S, they are younger, no more younger than me. Okay. Okay, and that's it. That means, for example, okay. and you describe my, uh, for example, my sister Andrea is 27 years old. My sister Michelle is 17. Uh, Andrea is very tall and short. This is the idea. We're going to describe the family members. More, more extensive, hmm? more extensive than the creature. Correct, correct. Okay. okay. Yes. You're going to describe the person physically, their personality, general information, age, profession, uh, marry, not marry, have children. This is the idea. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, when you listen to your partner, when you listen, take notes because then you're going to explain your partner's family, not your family, your partner's family to practice the third person. You ready? Okay. Any ready. questions? <clears throat> Any questions? Number two. No. Uh, teacher. teacher? Yes? I'm, I, I don't know if I am on, I'm bad, but... We have to talk about our family. Correct. Your partner is okay. going to ask you, as an okay. example, tell me about your mother. Tell me about your grandmother. And then you describe that person. Only only one person or your or family? Different members. The idea is not small answers. The idea is information, age, uh, date. Uh, or the family, yeah, physical. Uh -huh. This is the idea. Use the vocabulary. Okay. 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 Thank you. Are you welcome? You're welcome. Okay. It's okay. Any more questions? No. No, it's okay. Teacher. All right. Let's do it. Go. <coughs> Family reunion. A. 
Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Family Reunion A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Family Reunion A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. 
How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, Juan Jose, tell me about Milton. Okay, Milton lives um, with um, her sister. No, uh, her wife. No, her oh, sister. His sister. His sister. Correct. Mm -hmm. And his and his wife. Mm -hmm. uh, only only two people. <laughs> only two people. Um, um he has a son but the son uh, don't live in in your in her in his uh, house <laughs> okay uh, yeah, leave, try, uh, try again one make the sentence uh, again. uh, uh milton uh, has uh have a, has? has a son but the son uh, live um no, don't doesn't live in in excuse me, doesn't live in in his house in living another another place. Excellent. All right, Juan. Good job. Milton, tell me about Juan. No le dijiste que lo tiene apagado el micrófono. Ok, ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Sorry, sorry. It's ok, María los Jesús en casa. No. Milton, tell me about Juan José. Ok, Juan José, tell me. His house, el lío... You, uh, his, his mother, his sister, and his wife. Um, uh, yes, only, only and, and, and she. And he, only four people live in your house. No, uh, no in my house. No, in no, house. in, in his, his house. 
Okay, tell me again, Milton. Make the sentence correct. Okay. Uh, Juan Jose tell me about in, in Juan Jose Chile. told me. Told, uh, okay, told me, told me. Okay. Hey. Juan Jose told me about in in his in his house, Leo, uh, his mother, his sister, his wife, and he. And he too. Only four people. The beside he uh, he he have another family, but live. No, no, he have. Yes. He has. Mm -hmm. He has. He has uh, another family uh, near near his, but live uh, out uh, in other city. Ah, okay. Hey, Juan Jose, Juan, Juan Jose has two families. Oh, Juan Jose, quien te viera. Okay, two families, no, Juan Jose. No. <laughs> my other family are my three daughters. My three daughters, ah. but not live with, my, with me, live in uh -huh. another house. <laughs> ah, okay. I think Milton the Chambration, tell the story for the... <laughs> it's ah. necessary to clear. It's necessary to clear, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Melton. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Marielos, explain to me about uh, Alejandro. Okay. Um, Alejandro lives with her mother. Uh -uh. I, with his mother. Mm -hmm. I asked him for, her, for his father, but um, he told me that his father abandoned uh, him when he when he had a uh, four mm -mm. when he had mm -mm. no no why because when it's... he was when mm -hmm. he was four, four years for all okay thank you teacher no you continue good 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 okay okay um her Mm -mm. Excuse me, I, I don't know why. I... <laughs> you relax, my dear. Okay, okay. His mother is tall. He, he, her, her hair is blonde. Mm -hmm. um, uh, she works in like a, a sales manager. Excellent. Thank you, Marielos. Very and nice. He, and he thinks that his mother is a serious person, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Okay. Alejandro, tell me about Marcela. Well, uh, she lived with her mom and uh -uh. grandmother. Uh, she told me her she mom lived. has... She lives. Yeah, just, she lived with her mom and she grandmother. Lives. And... She told me her mom has 48 years old. No. No has, Alejandro. Hop. No, this is no. Spanish. I, I need English, no Spanish. Her mom, her mom. I don't know how, how to say. Is. Is. Her <laughs> money is, yes. Her money is 40, 48 years old. And she told me her mother works in a textile, a textile company. Okay, good Alejandro, good, thank you. Marcela, tell me about Marielos. Okay, hello. Uh, Mariela told us that she is married during uh, 29 years ago. Mm -mm. No. Mariela is married for 29 She's married years. For Okay, Mariela is married 
for 29 years. Okay. She has um, four sons and three daughters. Wow. Yes, he li she lives with her husband and the oldest son is 37 years old all or the very night i don't remember but <laughs> and the and the youngest son is 13 years old mm -hmm. thank you very much marcella very nice good correction okay one more person any volunteer Okay, no volunteer? It's okay. Yo ya hablo inglés. Ahí la oportunidad de practicar de cada quien. All right, guys, let's continue. One more, one more opportunity. No, okay, no oh. queremos mejorarlo. All right, Sergio, go for it. <laughs> Tell me, Sergio. Hi, teacher. I, I, I don't know if I heard another person uh, before me, uh, I'm not no, sure. No, no, it's you, Sergio. Oh. Go ahead. Mm, we were talking with Maritza about her family, and she told me um, she has uh, only one sister, and about her parents, only her mother is alive. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, her mother. And I don't know. And we were talking up, talking with another a classmate. I don't remember his name. But uh, he told his name us. name was Alex. Okay, Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, he told us that um, um, he has two kids. And the older is a girl and is 16 years old and he has also one one boy eight years old i remember and i'm not sure out oh, that uh, uh, his parents uh, live in usa okay. only only that i remember about okay thank you very much excellent now we're going to listen to a people talking about their family and the family reunion. Do you know what is a family reunion? Yes, when the fathers uh, meet in a house and they celebrate something or they just want to, to, to share good that's the idea the idea is remember in the fathers is in spanish in english the parents or the family they meet and all the family many times in El Salvador is tradition for for christmas or is tradition for mother's day this is normally the family reunion but is in any moment okay also father's day or father's day or funerals, when the person, then family reunion. <laughs> this is the tradition in the Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes the wedding and the wedding too. Mm -hmm. and, and birthday too. <laughs> yes. So listen and take notes, the name of the family members and the description, what happened. So Teacher. listen, the name and what happened. Yes, Marie. Teacher. Oh, teacher, sorry, just Sergio. Me. Yes, Sergio. Uh, how can I say bautismo in English? Ah, excellent. Everybody say baptism. Baptism. Bap baptism. Oh, teacher. This Thank you. It's in the chat. Baptism. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's listen.
family reunion. A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida. Okay. There is more information. But first, let me listen. What information do you have? Uh, um, it's Victor. And they met with a friend, maybe. And she asked her, him about the grandmother's uh, birthday, 80. She, 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 she is 80 years old. Mm -hmm. And they get re they reunion or they get reunion? They had a reunion. Uh, they had a reunion. And many relatives uh, went to the party, to the birthday. Excellent. Excellent. Did you listen how many members? Did you 80. listen how, how many? 80. 80. 80, 80 members. members. Yes. It's a, imagine the reunion. 80. Yeah. They were from Florida, from Texas, from many places. California, I think. Yes. And Mexico. And Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. yes, they probably uh, in the, for the um, um, Varios, ¿cómo se dice varios? How do you say varios? Several. Uh, Several. Good. Okay. Uh, uh, series. Series? Maybe not. Several. 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 Maybe cities. Maybe uh, cities, correct. Several Maybe. cities. Good. Okay. Okay, now let's listen for more information. Uh, California and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding. So the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Okay. What is the more information? What is the extra information? Uh, in the party, in the in the party, uh, there were a lot of people mm -hmm. that they were not directly descended from uh, the grandma, uh, the grandmother. Mothers, uh, they were, uh, for example, the mother-in-law, I think, and neighbors, friends, but they know the 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 grandma. Okay. Very good. Anybody else? Did you listen to any other information? The name of the family members or anybody else? Yes, there are people who he don't, he don't recognize because people change with the years. 
for example, uh, a, a person that he don't uh, see for years is the uncle cousin. Okay, good. That's the idea. So, excellent. We have good listening, good understanding. In this moment, with our partners, we are going to do two activities. With our partners, I'll show you this, my screen so we can understand. With your partner, you are going to go to 1.11 and listen again and answer the questions. Okay, so 1.11, you can answer the questions one through five. Then you're going to go to 1.12. In 1.12, you're going to read and answer the questions with information from the reading. Here is going to be the reading. So in 1.12, is the reading, 1.11 is listening. We are going to do the two exercises with our partner. It's okay, any questions? Okay. <clears throat> yes, we're ready? Yes. Okay, Yes. perfect. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Juan Jose, do you have problems?
Okay, let's check. Number one, what were they celebrating? <clears throat> they were celebrating the last one. The last one. Celebrating, no. yes. 80 birthdays. 80 birthdays. 80 birthdays. Grandmother, 80 birthdays. Okay. <laughs> What about number two? How many people were uh, how many people were there? Eighty. 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 Okay. Eighty. Eighty. Which places does he mention the people came from? Texas, Chicago, Texas, 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 Chicago, Chicago, Florida, California, California, California Mexico. Mexico. The last one. The last one. Last one. Yes. Ah, in Chicago. Okay. Okay. Who is the first relative he mentions uh, was at the reunion? His uncle's, His uncle's cousin. cousin. And number five, who else besides relatives were at the reunion? Friends, Friends of, the, of family. the family. Okay, let's take a look. Excellent, look at that, very nice. All of the answers are correct, good. Any questions? No. No. Okay. Now let's check the reading. Okay. In number one, what reason does Annabelle give for adopting so many children? They After have watching the musical. After watching the musical. The musical. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. What's special about the children that Belle and her husband adopt? 
They have they special, have special, special needs. needs. Special needs. Okay. And three, what are the to total monthly expenses for this family? Over 27,000 a month. Over 27. Yeah. Look, it's a lot of money. All of them are correct. Very good. Any questions about this? Oh. No? No. Okay. Hang on. Teacher. Yes. I had a I had problem with the exercise about um, relative losses. About? Before the about relative clauses um, is before that, okay. In this, in, in, in this, this exercise, no, no, no. no. One point eight. Okay. What is the question? Mm -hmm. um, because I I only have good uh, number one and number four. The other, I don't know why. Oh, okay. And what did you put for number for number two? For number two, okay. Mm, the trouble, the trouble uh, ha of having a younger sister is she always wants to borrow my clothes. Okay. So, so the I idea. think uh -huh. prepositions in my case, it was the preposition, the problem, because I, I, I didn't know that with travel and I have to use with. I, I put with, but I don't know why. why. Oh, but I, I, I try to you use many things in many different about. ways. Yeah, but I don't know why. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, let me help you out. What about number three? What did you put for number three? Number three, um, the bad part, um, the bad part, uh, about. Um, about being away to at college is that I miss my family. Yeah, that's good. But okay. I don't know why. Why is okay. bad in my platform? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you say number one is correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. Number one, number four only. But the other, I don't know why. Look at number two. The trouble with having. The trouble with having, oh, uh, yeah, with having a younger sister. Because is, here, the, the verb ing, with having. Yeah, having, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 wrote, I wrote having, but I don't know why. Okay, that is. Only check the spelling. Mm -hmm. Okay. The travel. Okay. Take a screenshot and then later you can do it. Okay. Take a screenshot and so later you can correct it. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's okay, Mariela? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. All right, good. Any other questions? Uh, me teacher. Uh, yes. In my case, I had problem with the first and the, and the number three. Uh, can you can you put this screen again, please? Okay. With which exercise? Uh, the resume. 
the the one from Marielos. Yeah. This one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Did you take a screenshot? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions uh, uh, or a part that you don't understand how to put? In my case, only that teacher. Okay. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? No, okay, great. So in this moment, what we're going to do is we have a few moments and we want to discuss and get to know each other. It is, for example, your responsibilities. What are your responsibilities? <laughs> at home, at work, in the office, what do you have to do? For example, oh, I'm a manager. Okay, what do you do? I'm an engineer, I'm a teacher. Good, tell your partner your responsibilities. What are the things that you do? Okay, like your daily routine. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. All right, let's go. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Tomorrow, we're going to practice and do some more, more speaking, 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 so we can correct the mistakes that you have, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Acuérdense, you. guys, acuérdense, solo los puedo corregir si de verdad hablan en clase, pero si tienen temor, ahí murió, okay? Thank you. 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 Thank you.